but I do have one honorary mention. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. This week I wanted to do a what I read in February wrap up kind of a video. Now that I'm just taking my last two classes in college, I actually really have time to read again, which has been so great. And I actually have enough books that I read this month to justify doing a video like this. The first book that I read this month was The Anxiety Sisters Survival Guide. I don't have it with me right now. I brought it back home after I finished it. But if you want to know more about what I thought of it or anything like that, I did a book review on it a couple of weeks ago, so I will put that up here and it will be linked in the description of this video. I'm not going to go into too much detail about what I thought because I did that whole review, but I really, really enjoyed this book. It was super helpful, super informative, and the writing style was super accessible and just easy to read. So. Definitely, definitely recommend that book. It was really, really good. The second book that I read in February was Nothing About Us Without Us, Disability, Oppression, and Empowerment. And this is by James I. Charlton. Here you can kind of see it a little bit better. And this one I read, I actually got this um, for Christmas. So if you look at my What I Got for Christmas video, a couple of um, those books are in here. Um, I'm working on a project that is going to include um, a lot of disability representation and experiences that are outside of my own. So I want to do a lot of research to really make sure that I understand where all this is coming from. And even as a disabled woman myself, like there's a lot of history that I'm just not aware of. So I'm also taking the opportunity just to kind of learn more before I really start working on that project. So this is the first book that I read. It was really, really informative, really helpful. What I really liked about this book is that I didn't just learn about the history. I didn't just learn about disability and disability oppression. It really covered things from all over the world and in all different kinds of cultures. So I wasn't just learning about, you know, disability in the Western world. I was learning about how this comes up everywhere and the treatment of disabled people everywhere, which I feel like is really, really good to know. And and not something that I've seen centered a lot. So I really, really enjoyed this one. Um, this is another one I started um, not in February, but I think I like I read like the introduction, I think, on the flight to Denmark. I may have read a little bit more on the way back, um, but I mainly, I believe, I mainly read this in February, if I'm remembering correctly which I, I mean, I could not be. These are also all in order of when I read them. The next book that I have here is When Woman Invented Television by Jennifer Keishin Armstrong. I might be mispronouncing that. All of these books will be linked in the description of this video if you're interested in buying any of them, um, which I recommend because I, I've not been unhappy with a single book I read this month, which is always great. Um, this is a book that I bought on my... Um, summer trip to Lake George. So if you go look back at that vlog, which I will link up there too, um, you'll see I bought this book. I read it a little bit, but I still hadn't really gotten back into the groove of reading. So um, when I started reading more this month, I picked it back up and blew through it. It was so interesting, so good. If you're interested in getting into the TV world or the film world at all, I mean, this book was so interesting to like understand how TV came from radio and how these four women really made such a huge difference. Um, you know, Betty White was one of the names and that's really the only majorly recognizable name, which is so cool because these other women, I mean, it's not cool how a race they are, but it was so cool to learn about these women that I really didn't know about before. So there was Betty White, Erna Phillips, um, Hazel Scott and Gertrude Berg and it was just so informative so interesting and just to see everything that Armstrong talks about and all the different experiences that happened and clearly Armstrong did her research because there are so many different like narratives in this that it was just so well done I found this to be such an interesting well-written book the next book I read was actually a fiction book which was so exciting it's I 
think, yeah, it's the only fiction book this month. So we're getting back into that too. Um, this book is There's Someone Inside Your House by Stephanie Perkins. If you are a fan of Stephanie Perkins, I definitely am. She also had the Anna and the French Kiss series. I've read all of those. Isla and the Happily Ever After is my favorite. I've read it so many times. Honestly, like my cover is like falling apart. Um, so when I saw that she was writing a thriller, I was definitely interested and I was a little concerned that it was just going to feel a little off from somebody who's got like such a strong YA voice. Um, but I actually really, really enjoyed this book. So it almost felt like YA meets thriller. So it's definitely, you have to go into it like ready for that. And if you've read Stephanie Perkins in the past, I think it really helps because it feels like Stephanie Perkins and just add thriller to it. Um, but it was really good, really intriguing. The cutesy parts were really cute and the creepy serial killer parts were really creepy scary. And I just feel like she, I, I've not really seen a lot of people mix YA and thriller in this way and I haven't read a lot of it, but I felt like she did a really, really good job merging those genres and just like being appropriate to each of them. Um, the ending, I was like, I kept, I, if I didn't know that that was how many pages of the book was, I would have expected it to keep going. Like I was like, wait, no, I want more, I want more. Um, but it also like tied everything up as it needed to. So it was so nice to read a fiction book again. I was, I did a beach day with uh, my roommates and I knew I was going to need a fiction book for the day. My nonfiction wasn't going to be enough. So I brought both and I literally finished this in two days. It was fantastic. It was, it was such good pacing. The pacing was so quick. I was able to move through it really easy. And if you like YA, if you like thriller, it's a good one. The next thing I read isn't technically a book. Like it's kind of a little magazine-y, pamphlet-y. I don't really know exactly um, what you would call it. Uh, an issue. Um, this is Your Neurodiverse Friend, A User Guide to Treating People Like People. Um, my cousin saw this in like a secondhand bookstore, something like that, and it reminded her of me, and so she got it for me. And this one is um, focused on autism. I don't think all of them are. It sounds like the, the second issue um, is was based on suicide. Um, so I don't think that they're all based on like one subject, but this one was based around autism and it was so great. It basically had just essays or artwork from different autistic people. And actually there was a um, um, speech or quote or something, one of them um, from Temple Grandin, which is really great. I love Temple Grandin. So it's not quite a book, but it was really informative and I really, really enjoyed it. It was really interesting to read different people's perspectives. So that was great. And that's all the books that I finished in February, but I do have one honorary mention. So I have one honorary mention. This is Disability Politics and Theory by AJ Withers. The reason it's not on this list is because I have a little bit left. I have, let's see. I have six pages left in the book, so I'll finish it today, but it's not technically February anymore. So this one is an honorary mention. If you want to know more about what I think about it, stick around for next month when I do my March wrap up and you'll get to see everything I thought of this. So that is everything that I read in February. If you want to know more about any of these books, let me know in the comments section. I'd be happy to kind of discuss further. Let me know what you guys write in the comments. If you want to see any more videos like this, leave me a suggestion in the comments box. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, please subscribe to my channel and make sure you press the notifications bell so you don't miss any of my new videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next week. Bye!